Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be painting loose watercolor field of hollyhock flowers. Today I don't know why I don't want to use masking fluid. I'm going to use just a uh, uh, finger to drop the water for flowers and background. Okay, here are the materials. I'm going to use on my palette color. May mainly use Arizarin Crimson, Ofra, Sap Green, Ultramarine Deep for flowers. Okay, here are the I have done the sketchy. This is a hollyhock flowers and field, sky and cloud. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to paint the sky with ultramarine deep mix tallow blue on the wet paper. Brush your horns a lot of water and paint. So I'm going to use Vedone technique in the sky. It's a very fun and exciting, right? I'm adding darker ultramarine deep color. I'm mixing the yellow and brilliant pink together and I'm putting the sky in the distance. This is brilliant pink. I'm going to paint a cloud on the sky with the darker value of the color. I'm mixing sap green and ultramarine deep. There are the small mountain in the distance. So I'm going to take some ultramarine deep and sap green. Then I'm going to start with the Holyoke flowers. I'm going to do this in a very light pink. This is the brilliant pink. Basically, these flowers are circular shape, like a love circular shape. I'm adding opera in flowers. I got some Arizarin Crimson. I draw the deeper line in the flowers. I'm going to take the darker color of the paint just to go around that little circle. Leave a little white circle in the middle of the flower. It's a stamen.
take some Arizarin Crimson and I'm branding on the flower with Arizarin Crimson color I'm using tip of the brush I got some Arizarin Crimson mix ultramarine deep This is Arizarin Crimson Leave a little white circle in the middle of the flowers And use the tip of the brush for edgy flower of lines This is the sap green I'm painted on the uh, hollyhocks leaves This is the hollyhock fields So just a small uh, flowers and leaves So many, so many leaves and flowers there So we cannot paint it, uh, just uh, each leaves and uh, flowers. This is the uh, stem of the flowers. I'm using sap green mix ultramarine deep. And brush stroke move very quickly is good for you. This is the whole hair leaves. I take some sap green mix ultramarine deep. Fresh with uh, magenta color. Cover the sky part. I want to create that there are some flowers in the distance I'm going to take a little bit of Ofra to paint on the flowers This flower is the same way I'm going to the same process on the other Holyoaks flowers all this flower will be painted the same way This is the Arizarin Crimson I got some sap green. This is the leaves, Hollyoaks leaves. There are the will be a bird.
there are just a few houses there. This is uh, Pont Sienan. I got some uh, kind of blue color for uh, painted on the foreground. I really want to make the harmony of the whole painting, so I'm adding the kind of blue on the foreground. This is the fence. So I got some burnt sienna. This is final touch up for the hollyhocks flowers and um, a small flower spirit. This is the shadow of the uh, fence. So I got uh, ultramarine deep. I usually use the ultramarine deep color for the shadow. This is the foreground, so uh, this is a burnt sienna. I finished this painting. I hope you guys like it and you should try this one today. Thank you for watching and for all your support. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I hope I will see you next time.